So then, uh, welcome to this video, um, and today I'll be um, kind of doing the same I've done in a video one and a half year ago, which was all simple buildings in skyscraper sim, but with a new version, um, since a lot of simple buildings have been added. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight into this, I also got some custom simple buildings to those. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into this, I'll be this will be the first skyscraper sim video to be commented by me, so you can always hear my voice and I say something to those buildings. And yeah, I'm, I'm just trying this out. So let's go ahead and start with the normal simple building. Here we are. That's what it looks like. And some sofas. Can actually push those sofas or oh, that one it, yeah you are able to push those around but if you try to get those into the lift they will just vanish to the key which we cannot take for some reason now now we got the key the fireman service uh, just going to put in the fireman service. That's what the lift looks like. Okay, so we need to uh, turn on fire mode first. Our door closed but won't work for some reason today. So I just need to get this out of fire service. Pretty much a very boring lift. Got stop run, independent service, alarm button. Full cancel does not work uh, unless you've got fire mode on. Here is what it looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and take uh, this lift into um, inspection service. Let's just uh, take a look at, oh my goodness, I flipped my head. Um, so let's just I put it into inspection, so maybe we should close the doors first. And then we need to set this to false. Now that we move it down, we can open up the shaft doors on that floor right here. Open the shaft doors, and you can see it has some lift cables and some tracks on the side. And uh, let's go ahead, and um, there is a counterweight, so we can surf this. Uh, but first we have to close the shaft doors and make it go down. It's a counterweight. Let's surf it. Yeah, yeah, surf the counterweight. Yeah, that's basically what it looks like. Let's get to the next simple building. Which one will it be? It will be simple 500 floors. So 
soon and let's put it into part F5 again. It's a pretty tall building. I was, for some reason, it was just an elevator chime. Um, there it is. Let's get a 2 for all 500. emergency stop that was a pretty harsh stop I'd say to make it go make it stop again oh my goodness that was a harsh stop probably the stop time is limited so yeah it will do a harsh stop I was intelligent leveling supreme, I guess. Now we even got some clouds right here. Uh, this is the top floor. Let's see if we can go a bit higher onto the roof with those stairs, but nope. Oh my goodness. Come on. <laughs> These are some unprocessed stairs, I'd say. Um, I'm not too sure if this is a bug. Or if this actually meant to be like that. Let's get the lift down here. Probably spent ages because they're leveling. No, not. Uh, okay, let's go back to the menu and take a look at all of those other buildings. Uh, let's go to animated, which might some of you might know as this weird building. Yep, there we go. There it is. With the rotating textures and this weird button that vanishes but there it's there you can press it nothing happens there we got the lift give me zero and i'll just go one, up one floor because it's not worth going up all of our floors yeah it's pretty it's pretty slow this lift That's basically what it looks like. I don't think no, it has no. Even the texture is rotating, but it has no uh, uh, rotating stairs textures, and it does not have a counterweight. So then, uh, let's go to the next simple building, which happens to be. Um, oh, we haven't even been to. All glass doors, no shaft, so let's go ahead and do that one. There we've got it. So it looks like it has no shaft. It's immediately the void under it. And you can see only one half is always processed or properly processed by the doors or shown by the doors. Kind of a weird process a bit. Yeah, that was the plug. What it looks like, I'm sorry. Um, let's go to um, basements. which happens to have something to do with basements as you might uh, think from the name it really is like that it has something to do with basements first of all since there was this very weird thing on top uh, let's go to the roof and there we got a blind lift shaft nothing too spe special I don't think it has uh, anything added to the shaft 
So, I'm not going to do this, I'm sorry. Let's just go down here and call the lift. See, it's going down. Let's go down to B20. Sadly, it's pretty slow. Anyways. I guess you got the idea. Um, so then a concurrent. This apparently involves some more simple buildings. Yep, that's pretty weird. That one is floating. But these are just uh, normal simple buildings. They're just arranged in a city-like type. And uh, if I'm not completely mistaken, they're all in a line. But uh, these are, there's nothing too special about those. Um, there's These are not even processed properly until you enter it. Uh, they actually have uh, lift shafts with proper cables, but here we got some texture extraordinarities. As you can see, as soon as I exited, it's completely deprocessed. And yeah, nothing too special about it. And uh, let's go ahead, let's go to the next one, which happens to be custom models. Well, uh, build, that building is kind of funny. This one collapses. Okay, and there are those cubes, which you can push around. Um, there we go, another sofa, a few more keys. Uh, let's just put this lift into fire service, and then push that cube into there. Because you can move those cubes with the elevator. Uh, put it out of fire mode. Let's go to floor 2. And you'll be able to see this actually works. It's shaking a bit. And if you push it to the shaft ball, it will um, act a little bit weird. But it is it is working. And this one, I don't got no idea why this already collapsed. Or, uh, uh, since it's meant to be collapsing as soon as you touch it. Or if you push it around, but not like that. Anyway, let's go for double decker. So we've got double decker. That's what it looks like. On the key, not nothing too special about it. This is deck one, and the uh, there's one above. Let's go. Uh, first of all, take a look. We can only go to those floors, and with the other one, which. Oh my goodness, why I'm just doing that. Uh, let's just jump over here, go through that door. I can see two, one, two right now. And it serves the other floors. Let's go to floor 10, which happens to be locked once again. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm uh, going ahead. No, no, that won't work, I thought. I go down here, but I can't duplicate myself. So this won't work out. Anyways, that's a double decker lift. Nothing too special about it anymore when it drives. It's just like a normal lift. Um, double decker EG881 testing. Not too sure if I have all the required files for it. Uh, apparently I do, and as you can see it looks pretty extraordinary, it has some weird things right there, some more weird grassy piece right there, they got them a horrible tree, there's a bit glitchy textures, uh, I can balance on there, we've got an escalator,
Oh my god, this is oh, this is slow. Let's just go. No, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. I got some weird looking cozy for this. With a horrible chime and horribly process everything. That's what the Edith looks like. Horrible American Edith. Can't even properly hear the echoes clunk. Sad. Another little controls, typically ABA thing. That's not an echo alarm. Really weird alarm. And it glitches a lot. Oh, I probably got myself stuck right here. I guess that's basically it, but oh my goodness, what is that? Looks a bit odd. And over there, we got a hill which features a very long escalator. So let's try escaping that building. Or let's just go along there. It's actually down there. Down there. Sorry for my weird language. Um, we cannot get up there. Those escalators seem to be out of service. Yeah, these are out of service. Um, there's some weird stuff down there. Let's just um, turn off collision detection and move through those walls. Do those escalators work? That is the question. Damn, those are long. Nope, sadly those are out of service. Yeah, that's, I guess, it. Let's exit this rod here and go for a building escalator which features a prototype of the escalators. Oh my goodness, what I'm doing. Like that, like that, and there we go. Features a little escalator and a normal lift, which has a lock, which turned off our escalator. That's interesting. Turned off the escalator actually. There we go. Uh, there's nothing too special with sofas on those. So sofas behave a little weird, I guess. Let's just try pushing that onto the escalator. I guess we got it a bit a stupid way right here. Because we can't get ourselves behind it, can we? Oh, that's that's a bit weird. Don't 
Don't fall down there, please don't fall down there. Please, Sofa, get onto the escalator. Let's see if we can actually transport the sofa all the way up by the escalator. Apparently we cannot. Because it doesn't like being pushed there. Almost, 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 almost. We've almost got it. Yay! No, please, please, please. Come on, come on, Sofa, come on. You can do it, you can do it, Sofa. So then, uh, let's just uh, push this up there. No, it's glitching, it's glitching, it's glitching, it's glitching. It's glitching very bad, and no, nope, that won't work. So that's it for part one. Part two uh, will be uh, there soon. And uh, for that, bye.